Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is what I got. So good. Let me try that. Hopefully, I can make time. Yes, it's beautiful. Even it's a Friday night. No <laughs> people. Ryan's TV. I love this place. So today, I come to Nanko, which is a local spot of Osaka. In the last video, I introduced that Osaka is becoming China. Well, if you haven't watched that video, please check that. If you go to the really popular Osaka travel spot, you will only see the travelers. Which is kind of sad, right? Because you can't see real Osaka. So in this video, I try to introduce my favorite place to chill out, but it's still a travel spot so that you can enjoy too. This place called Nanko, which is a really west part of Osaka. As you can see, it's right next to the Osaka Ocean. It is a really beautiful place. Of course, still there are many travelers visit here, but it's much, much better than the, some other places such as Universal Studios, Dotonbori, Osaka Station. Also, anyway, let me introduce around this area called Nanko. As you can see, this is a beautiful place next to the ocean. It's in the countryside, so it takes about 30 minutes from Osaka Station by train. Firstly, you have to get to the Toreido Center Mae Station. And you have to make left at the exit. Then, you just need to keep walking straight. It's a bit long walk, but you will arrive to this place. Recently, it gets pretty cold. However, in the beautiful weather. Still, it's good to take a walk. Beautiful sky with palm tree. Sweet! In the weekday, many people come over here to have a fishing. Well, I'm not sure what kind of fish they can fish. So let me ask what kind of fish they can fish. He is here by bicycle for fishing Japanese horse mackerel. Still, he hasn't got one today yet, but usually he can fish pretty well. That's what he told me. Nice, huh? So they can get the horse mackerels which is aji in Japanese. It's really popular fish to eat. So as you can see, there are many locals come over here to enjoy the fishing. If you are fishing, you can come over here too. Actually, right now, I'm in front of the ATC, which is uh, Asia and the Pacific Trade Center. It is originally a trade center. However, for me, it's like a shopping mall. This red building, that's how it looks like. Uh, let me introduce inside the ATC. Let's get inside. As you can see, definitely there are not so many travelers compared to some other travel spots. However, one thing I realized is that the, this place used to be a really, really quiet place, but uh, I guess recently there are seems like more Chinese travelers over here. Uh, wow, really interesting. <laughs> this is South Berto building. As you can see, there are not so many stores. So let's go to the north part of the building. So actually, this place is contains by three parts. One is north, other one is south, and the last one is ITM, which I'm not sure what it stands for. I was in the south part of the building. Well, there are several restaurants, but uh, it is not really a uh, entertaining places. Well, to be honest, this place is not really a travel travel spot. So well, for me, this place is taking away from the crowd. And also, you can see the ocean view, but it's still, there are several travel spots as well, so let me show you a bit more. In the north part of building, there are many restaurants compared to the south part of building. Still, really less people though. This matcha ice cream looks so nice, but it was a cold day, so I skipped that. This place called ABC Mart. 
which is one of the most popular chain shoe store in Japan. Well, usually they have many kinds of shoes with cheaper price. Especially this place is outlet, so you can find a good price. Well, the last time when I came here, I didn't know this place, but look at that, there is a bread store. Let me try some. I love bread store. Usually they have many different kinds of bread. When I get a little hungry, the bread store is always a good option. Ta-da! Look at this! Yes, this is what I got. Actually, I was thinking whether I should get other one or this one. But this one looks so good, so... Oh my goodness, smells so good! I love teriyaki smell! Wow! Yes, it's beautiful! Teriyaki soy sauce flavor is always good. So this one is half-boiled egg, bacon, and teriyaki sauce. 200 Japanese yen. Itadakimasu! Oh, shit. The bacon is much softer than what I thought, and the teriyaki sauce with mayo perfectly matches with egg. This is exactly what I was expecting at. Maybe there are not so many shops around this ATC area, but definitely you should try this teriyaki bacon egg. Mmm, teriyaki sweetness. So good! If you can just take it back to the hotel and eat it in the hotel with microwave, it would be good too. Actually, I was expecting the much smaller bacon because this was only 200 Japanese yen, but uh, they use kind of thick bacon too. I feel like I'm eating meat. It was really good! Alright, so let's keep exploring. There are power plugs too, so it's a really good place to take a rest. Ooh, so that bread tastes so good, and that was a good surprise. It is really fun to find it in new places, right? Especially if you are traveling. So maybe if you visit here, you can find something new too. And now we are heading to the ITM. This is the last place of the ATC building, ITM. At the entrance, I found these cute crow machines with octopus. In the ITM building, there is Mentaiko Park. You can learn how the Mentaiko is made in the factory. Well, that's the way to go to the Osaka cruise ship. And this is the way to go to the Mentaiko Museum, which I've never been. So let's go check that. So this is the Mentaiko Park. Mentaiko is a spicy cut roll. It is really popular in Kyushu area. It's perfectly good with white rice. In this place, you can learn and watch how the Mentaiko is made. Also, you can try it for free too. You can try the fresh made Mentaiko over here. Let me try that. It's a bit spicy, but I'm pretty sure it will perfectly fit with rice. And you can buy a lot of kinds of mentaiko over here. So if you love mentaiko, definitely you can visit here. Also, there is a huge kids playground. So if you bring kids, they can have a good time too. Well, you know what? It's almost time for the sunset. And I want to show you guys the view from the observatory because it is so beautiful. Uh, hopefully I can make time. I got the run. In the observatory, it's the uh, Intex Osaka, which is uh, next to ATC. Hopefully I can make time. Do you see the sky getting so yellow, right? Yeah, that's right here. The price is 800 Japanese yen. Well, so the observatory entrance is in the side of the, this index Osaka. Still, the sunset is not yet. It's just beautiful though. Alright, so let's keep walking. Uh, 
Ooh, here we go. Yes, it's beautiful. Look at this view. Yes, even I sweat a lot, but I made it. So happy. You know, the sky garden, which is a culture thing, it's beautiful too, but uh, this place is special because you can see it without crowd. Well, so let me put the GoPro time lapse over here. All right, sweet, it's perfect. Let's watch the sunset time lapse together. This is how the Intex Osaka's Observatory looks like. I think it's much simpler compared to the other place, but still, the price is cheaper and also you can escape from the crowd. So maybe if you kind of get bored from the touristic places, then you can try this place. Anyway, so this is how the Intex Osaka Observatory looks like. Let's go back to the ATC because we can see the Christmas tree over there. Since this place is near Universal Studio Japan, you can see the fireworks if you are lucky. Also, Kaiyukan's Ferris wheel is beautiful as well. Speaking of this place, yes, this is pretty much just the observatory. So compared to other places, less entertaining. However, because of that, less crowded. Look at that. It's a beautiful place, right? Speaking of this place, actually, this is the place that the G20 meeting was held. In that period, so many police were over here. Yeah, that's right. I came here to shoot the video too. If you want to see how it looks like, please check my other video. Anyway, so let's go back to the ATC. Can you see the building over there? Yes, actually, that's where I was. And now I came back to the ATC in front of the Christmas tree. Well, maybe this is not the place that you can enter the travel spot, but still, it's Osaka and you can see the local life. There are so many places to chill out. So maybe if you kind of get tired with crowds, you can come visit this place. You can enjoy this place for sure. Look at that! <laughs> Even it's a Friday night. No people. I'm not sure if it's a good thing, but yes, this is a less touristic spot. Hope you enjoyed the video. There are many other Osaka videos too, so if you are traveling to Osaka or Japan, please check my other videos as well. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription really encourages me to keep shooting videos. And if you like the video, please share the video with your friends. It will really help me to grow my channel. And please check my Instagram account as well. Alright, so let's say goodbye with Ryan Britain. Say no. Bye-bye!